Nothing compliments your beautiful eyes more than shapely eyebrows, but you have to know the right steps to define your face, and it doesn't matter, Rob, if you're a man <laughs> or a woman. I have beautiful <laughs> eyebrows. Well, luckily, today we have celebrity eyebrow designer Robert Gabriel Prochescu from Elisa's Eyes right here in New yeah. York City. Robert, thank okay. you for joining us. What do we need thank to know? You for having me today. And before we get to that, you know, sure. you've done some of the most famous eyebrows. Oprah, yeah. wow. your eyebrows. You did Oprah's eyebrows? Yes. Yeah, we, uh, we do a lot of celebrities. You also did Selma Hayek and oh then Jennifer Lopez. Goodness. Those eyebrows could talk. What are you going to tell us to get eyebrows like one of these okay. famous uh, ladies? Most importantly, there's three different points that you always need to keep in mind uh, when you're trying to figure out the proper shape for okay. any eyebrow. Uh, most importantly is the space between the brows. Uh, you never want to go too far because what happens is it sort of just makes your face lines wide, your face wide lines your face, exactly. Well, don't, yeah, I did <laughs> just that. Okay, I have a wide they're face. They're not too far. No, they're, they're okay, just... Okay, thanks. Mine's just like straight. a color kit. They're drawn in beyond belief. You have no idea. Janice is here. She's our lovely model, so her eyebrows are absolutely perfect. Yeah. Spaced out they're, perfectly they're, like you Yeah, they're, they're, they're very close to perfect. Okay, um, so let's go through now, the steps. Not okay, too far. First and foremost, you take, the, take a pencil or something mm -hmm. sort of thin. Uh, and put it basically on the bridge of your nose on both sides, and that should determine uh, how far you should go. Okay, you like never this? really exactly. You never really want to go any <laughs> further than that. <laughs> You're squashing no my nose. nose. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> it's pretty much the width of your, the bone of your nose. And that's the you same know. for man, men and women. Men and women matter. alike, exactly. Okay, all right. And then as far as your the shape of your face, let's say you've got an oval or a more round shaped face. What, what do you do in terms of your eyebrows differently? Obviously, if you have a sort of round face. We don't want to accentuate that with rounder brows. Mm -hmm. So generally, we try to uh, go for a more straighter eyes. look and kind of have a more not so round arch. Okay. You know more. Of a kind of angle so it's all illusions. Okay. You can really change the Very way someone so. looks right. with their Very eyebrows. Because so. I've seen people with really bad eyebrows out there. <laughs> <It's a lot laughs> can you fix them, or is it like getting a tattoo? Absolutely, we can. Always, uh, there's always hope, and uh, most importantly, is seeing a professional first. So, what about the, the arch? Because uh, that's some okay. people over arch their eyebrows. <laughs> some people don't even know what arch is. They look surprised, surprised all the time. One thing that most people don't realize is that you should really never take too much off the top because. What happens then you start to flatten the arch and bring the arch down. Okay. Now, so generally you're going to take it from underneath yeah, exactly. the eye, like right yeah, down we, here? Flat arch. We okay. want to keep as much sort of hair on top as possible. Mm -hmm. Generally, we clean it up with wax or, you know, tweezing. Uh, but it's mostly just the fuzz and things like that that we're cleaning up. Not, not too much of the actual eyebrow itself. What about, what about the length, though? Has now, the length is an, another way to uh, sort of gauge what a good length for yourself would be, is uh, to sort of grab the same pencil mm -hmm. and Ooh. grab it from about the tip of your nostril. Rob. Okay. About a 45 degree angle to the corner of your eye. How am I doing? Towards your temple. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. they're just right. Yeah. Oh, there thank you, you mommy. You. God given. You've got good, degree good angle. And then what about guys? This is a new yeah. trend. Guys are doing it. I don't think I like it. I see guys in the gym and it's a little too <laughs> plucked. No, I understand and I agree with you. I don't think guys should be overly done, but I no. do think that it's very important that they understand that they should be groomed because yeah. You know, we groom our face all the time. We shape our mustaches and beards and things like that. So this is, a, you know, it's more facial hair that we should always just keep in mind that I'm it should be, uh, you know, tweezing or waxing. Do you prefer one or the other? <laughs> uh, well, by far we promote waxing because it lasts longer. It takes more, you know, removes more hairs. It gives a much cleaner. And the uh, biggest mistake look. people make, guys and girls, uh, is. Definitely over plucking and sometimes uh, trimming too much. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, we have to you have to be very careful when you're trimming because you have to really keep in mind where the hair actually falls and not so much where it's sticking up because uh, it can change. It can be a problem. Exactly. You'll look like me. You'll have to be drawing <laughs> your eyebrows in every single day. It's not fun. Thank you very much, Robert. My Thank pleasure. You, Cheers. Thank you, Ben. Right back.